Hey guys, it's Dave with My Freedom Smokes. Today I'm here to talk to you about a sample uh, RDTA we got in from Geek Vape. Um, it's the name of it that is familiar. It is the Medusa Reborn. Uh, we currently sell the Medusa RDTA from Geek Vape, uh, which is basically going to be a lot like an RDA uh, with a metal built in juice reservoir that kind of acts as an RDTA where you don't have to worry about your glass break or anything like that. Uh, can be used strictly as an RDA if that's how you prefer, but the original Medusa was pretty cool the way it had the little locking system. You open it up and you could fill your liquid in or you can just use it like a dropper, like I said. Uh, the way this one is, it doesn't have to lock. The cap just pops off like a normal cap. Um, around your build deck and everything is actually a nice open area between the walls of the build deck or walls of the uh, barrel here and the build deck so you can fill your liquid up with three and a half milliliters of liquid um, and you just kind of tuck your cotton down in those holes and once you put the whole top cap back on and just remove the top section here you just have access to that cotton and then those coils uh, so you can do your dripping or whatever. The Medusa Reborn also comes with a squonk pen, so that's what I'm actually doing with it now. I have it on the Ram box from Stentorian, and I'm using it as a squonker. And with that top section closed off, the liquid just comes right out the top between my two build posts and just sits right there at the very top of this RDA or RDT. I still won't call it an RDA because it works like an RDA, um, which makes it for a nice RDTA because you don't have the glass, you don't have to worry about drop and breaking glass, trying to find replacements. Everything's all contained within the uh, the metal and everything here. It comes with an 810 style drip tip. You do get a uh, 510 adapter or 810 to 510 adapter. Uh, pretty good airflow on here. Nice adjustable airflow. Um, the build deck's really nice. It's a two post design with the kind of steps. You got two center holes are a little lower, and two outer ones are a little higher. That way when your coil is the way they naturally fall, will line up with those holes. And it is a flathead grub screw. It's not a Allen key or anything like that. It's a flathead. Everybody's got a flathead screwdriver laying around. But they do include one of their nice little three-way tools in the box. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, show you what else comes in the box with it. All right. So in the box, you get your little instruction manual, which isn't very descriptive at all, and does have several different uh, languages available as well. And it basically just gives you a quick breakdown of everything and shows you how you remove that top cap to fill your liquid in there. Yeah, it's just basically that and swaps to the next languages and stuff. So not a very descriptive uh, user manual, but a lot of people, by the time you're buying an RDA or RDTA, you pretty much know what you got going for you. Uh, in the baggie, they include the, uh, it includes a squonk pin. This is the original pin I had in there. I've already swapped it out, obviously. And you get four extra screws, uh, all your little O-rings, and then you get that 810 to 510 drip tip adapter. And then you also get your four-way tool, which has a Phillips head screwdriver and two different size flatheads. Uh, these little tools are so handy to have around, especially if you uh, do a lot of building and stuff. Because these little screwdrivers will fit a lot of the different things on the market already. So. Uh, Nice little handy one to hang on to if you want to throw it in your toolkit or whatever. All right, the build I have in here today is just going to be a simple uh, Canthal 24 gauge. I think I did seven reps. Um, it ohmed out to about 2.5 uh, or 0.3, somewhere in there. I can't remember. It was a couple days ago I built this one. All right, make sure everything's juiced up. Let's have a vape on it real quick. There's a lot of good flavor coming off of this guy. Um, I've, I've always loved the flavor Geek Vape provides with their RDTAs, their RDAs, their RTAs, all their stuff. This thing looks like it'd be a lot taller, so you think the flavor would be lost, but you gotta think the build deck's just right here, so it's not far from the build deck to your mouth. So there's really not a, a lot of place for the air, the air to kind of get in there and mess up that flavor. It's basically, it'd be the same things if you had a really short RDA. Uh, so real good flavorful vape that can be used, like I said, at RDTA, RDA, squonking RDA. It's a very versatile little device. Um, I like it. I think I'm going to go ahead and put a recommendation in, and hopefully we'll be seeing these on the website. Um, I think that's all I really got to say about the Medusa RDTA or Medusa Reborn RDTA. Um, if you have any questions about it, please leave them in the comments below. As always, it's been Dave with My Freedom Smokes, and thank you for vaping.